Good afternoon, WestCon. This is student meteorologist Zach Duhame with a forecast update for this very mild and muggy Thursday afternoon. Lots of rain falling, too. You could probably see in the picture these kind of lines. That's heavy rain falling around 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Let's look at the weather headlines. Michael's devastation, the Hurricane Michael is now a tropical storm, still impacting the southeast coast. We saw much more damage than expected with the storm as it became a Category 4. I'm going to show you the stats in a second. Heavy rain here today. That's going to lead to summer saying bye-bye and hello to fall. We have a big pattern change coming as well. But let's look at the throwback. Let's throw things back to yesterday on this Thursday. I like to throw things back. And this is a big weather event, one of the biggest events in decades across the United States. We had a Category 4 landfalling storm in Mexico City, uh, Mexico Beach, Florida, I should say, with winds up to 155 miles per hour, one mile over an hour shy of a Cat 5. Cat 5 is the highest that we can rank hurricanes here in the United States. So absolutely incredible. Also the third strongest storm ever to hit the U.S. with a pressure of 919 millibars. I'm going to back out of the way a little bit. Some of the pictures I've got off the internet from uh, Panama City, Florida, I've heard reports it looks like an F3 tornado ripped through, but we're not talking about one town. We're talking about Dozens of towns looking just like this with damaging winds and the extreme storm surge. Uh, thoughts and prayers to everyone affected by this. It's going to take years to rebuild after that devastating storm. Where is it right now? It's right here in the Carolinas. It's a tropical storm, so it is weakened, but heavy rain, tornadoes, and flooding, uh, I mean, in strong gusty winds, I should say, impacting the southeast coast. The storm is going to move towards south, but we're seeing some tropical moisture being fed up along the east coast. So that's what we're going to be talking about. Heavy rain today and tonight, but then the cold front pushed the storm off the coast and not impacting our weather for tomorrow. A northwest wind, that kicks in with the breezy conditions for Friday into the weekend, so a much more fall -like pattern is setting up after the next 24 hours go by. Heavy rain currently around 12 o'clock, uh, 1 o'clock, I should say, on this afternoon for Thursday. You can see heavy rain right here in New Haven, Hamden, Danbury. Danbury is right about there. This back to the west will move uh, to our north, but see more showers and downpours forming to the south. That's going to head in over the next several hours, again, feeding off that tropical moisture from what's left over with Tropical Storm Michael as well. So tomorrow morning, 7 o'clock, the storm is close by, but the track is going just like this. So going to miss us. Cape Cod could get hit with some heavy rain and gusty winds. Just a gusty northwest wind here in Connecticut bringing that much cooler feel. So yes, Saturday could be a few morning showers with another system, but I think it's mainly dry and mainly cool as well. Highs only in the 50s to around 60. And by Sunday morning, look at this. 30s to around 40. Get that heater ready because you're going to need it Sunday morning and Sunday highs only in the 50s as well. Tonight's forecast, 57 degrees, downpour, storms, mild and breezy. I think the best chance for storms are earlier in the evening, then clearing out after midnight. Wind switch from southwest to northwest after the front comes through, gusting up to 30 miles per hour. Morning shower earlier on Friday, then it becoming breezy and a much cooler temperatures in the 60s as well with clearing skies. So overall, nice day, but have that uh, uh, hat ready. Hold the hat, I should say, if you're outside. It's going to be quite breezy. Saturday, a morning shower. Sunday, the pick of the weekend, uh, with a lot of the sun, but look at that cool temperature, 56 degrees after starting off in the 30s. So you definitely want to bring that sweater if you're heading out for apple or pumpkin picking. And seasonally chilly with a few showers early next week. This is student meteorologist Zach Duhame. Do not forget to follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat at WCSU Meteorology. Have a great rest of the week.